But um, yeah, we're gonna teach somebody some things today, Reese. Uh, uh, we, we got sure some guests in the studio. You know right what? Uh, every time uh, these guys show up, in particular, this guy has been rocking with us since day one uh, of this show, even before then. Me personally, even before, way before then. Uh, he, he's a personal friend of mine. Uh, 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 we call an icon in the area, right? Yeah, right, he Mac? Is. I mean, yeah, he just is. guy that means so much to to a lot of people. I mean, that seriously. I call him the standard. And he got a sidekick with him as well, which and the, t- the team, the dynamic duo. I call him, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about anything around litigation, but we're going to talk sports now because we are a sports talk radio show. A lot of things been going on at the combine, the CBA. Everybody's trying to figure it out. What's what's good about it? Why are people saying yes? Why are people saying no? And man, we have I man, man, James Bush Williams and Cam Belton up in here. In the studio again. What's up, fellas? How y'all doing, man? Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, well, Hold on, people. Well, Butch, as we all call him. Butch, you know, I'd I be remiss if I don't mention I was just flipping through the stations and they had 30 for 30 for Michael Vick on. And I forgot that my main man, Butch, was all up in the middle of that thing, came back. I, I'm watching a video. They come out of the courtroom. That's the Butch with his that, that nice little, little cap of stroll he always be doing. Come out, come out, come out of the, the courthouse. That was a, that was that was an uh, interesting experience for you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. It was a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, to get him where he had to go. Yeah, yeah. Know? So they weren't trying to lock him up. More many, than many that. Times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it, it did all right. It yeah, but you, right. but you know when when you get in real trouble, they had Butch and the other guy. They had they had the, the A team on this team, so that and, and and it worked out for them. But hey, guys, Cam and Butch, I just talk about let, let's talk about the combine a little bit. Uh, I know you guys were up in Indianapolis last week, and right. of course the players are up there, the coaches up there, everybody. Yeah. So why mm-hmm. why was someone like you guys? Why, why is it important for you guys to be there at, at that situation? Well. uh Every year, we mm-hmm. have to come through with the NFL PA. Okay. And it happens at the same situation. Okay. And uh, so we all have to go up there. If mm-hmm. we don't go, <laughs> they mm-hmm. kick you out of there. <laughs> okay, okay. And that's what happens. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you so you, you require to be there to be what, certified again or, yeah. mm-hmm. or get, get your – Get your, uh, your your check in, in in the column. So so there so several people like you guys were there. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So each year, all the agents have to go to the combine. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the NFLPA seminar, and pretty much they give us updates on changes in the league. Um, and obviously the CBA. That was a big discussion up there. Yeah. A lot of questions about that. And the president of the NFLPA was there, along with the lawyers who are at the negotiating table with the owners were there. So they kind of let us in on the negotiating table um but there's still a lot of questions out there as you know and while we're here today yeah yeah speaking of the questions we see almost on the bottom line rolling across espn this uh, uh richard sermon said vote no and the Ponzi twins they were talking about we're gonna take care of you guys we're gonna give you guys two hundred fifty thousand dollars when they shut it down I'm like i'm not sure about all that why wh- what is the issue uh, why do some of the guys in my opinion they're they're really paid right now. The hot the higher end guys, salary wise, they're saying vote no. But the young guys, like a lot of people I know, just trying to make ends meet. They're like, man, we didn't vote for this because they get increasing salary things of that nature. Absolutely. What's going on with that? Absolutely. And, um, as attorneys and agents, you mm-hmm. know, I don't. I'm careful when I criticize or look at a negotiating table negotiation because we're not at the table. Right. Um, but from the outside looking in and just seeing what's put out there, uh, the owners know that. They need a majority vote yeah. um, for this CBA to pass. Um, but you would think the players had leverage because the players know the owners making lots of money or the league makes lots of money off of these TV deals. Yeah. And so the owners are very pressed to get a deal done now so they can in turn have leverage when they go to negotiate these new TV contracts. That's coming up. Correct. In 2022. Okay. That's going to be worth billions and billions of dollars. They're pressed to get a deal done now so they Mm -hmm. can go with labor peace and say we have a good product to put on the table and potentially more product with that 17th game that's put in there. Wow. Yeah, that's the other thing we're going to talk about. So the owners know that the majority of the league make the minimum salary. Mm -hmm. So in this proposed CBA, they're raising the minimum salary or close there to of $100,000. And so these players that are making that minimum salary of rookies, the lifespan of an NFL player is 3.2 years. 
So they're trying to scrape up as much money as they can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a short amount of time. And why wouldn't I want to play a 17 game? I've been waiting my whole life <laughs> to play one game. <laughs> right. Um, and so that's why the younger players are eager to sign this. But when you have the OGs in the game, yes. like J.J. Watt and yeah. Russell Wilson and Richard Sherman saying no, it's going to make these players hesitant as to why. Yeah. And I think these older players know the amount of money that they're worth and that they can potentially get more. Okay. Um, and also, they know the risk and dangers of that 17th game. Wow. Well, he talked about a projected increase of $5 billion to players during the course of the 10-year deal. Although that sounds like it's, you know, it is a lot of money, which, by the way, I guess it is a lot of money. <laughs> yes. It is a lot of money. But in the big scheme of things, with the amount of money that they're talking about with the NFL, uh, an increase of $5 billion to the players over 10 years, technically, is not that much. Correct. And then... When you're looking at NBA, where there's you know 300 something jobs, mm -hmm. yeah. the NFL is close to 2,000. Yeah, and so that five that that pool of money is being being spread out That's over a, a larger number number yeah. of players. Right. Which on paper it looks like a lot of money, but when you spread it out, especially over 10 years, yeah. it's not a lot. Yeah. You one day we had a conversation about we were saying there was a, a big disparity between how much the NFL makes and the NBA makes, but we found out that they weren't that far apart, and then and that's why a lot of players in the NFL like we want our we want our Jeff do as well, like some of the NBA guys, are they're making crazy money. We're talking to Bush Williams and Cam Belton, uh, uh, James uh, Williams Law Firm, and, and and it's Butch man, stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, some people I'm, I'll try to give you I'm trying to give you the government name because you know some. People Maybe it's, okay, but it may, uh, it may be some people that want to hire you, so we got to tell them who they look for. <laughs> they go out and say, look, we're looking for Butch. But actually, though, they, they yeah, probably still can find you. They probably, they're, they're probably getting Butch before they get James. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Butch, great question to you. So health care was is a big issue in this whole thing, too, in terms of uh, trying to span health care coverage. Because I think, and, and I got to read some more, prior to this, uh, I think uh, the guys are covered with three – See, uh, when you leave when you leave the game, you cover like three to five, three I think maybe three to five years right. after you, after you retire or after you leave the game. I think they're looking to increase that part too to try to protect some of the guys as they get older and have health health care coverage, right? right? Because you you come back, uh, yeah. let's say they get out when well, they forty, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. and they fall down, yeah, you know, with, with it, uh Head yeah, and, yeah, concussions or whatever. Well, yeah, and see, they've been coming back. Yeah, okay. Last, uh, uh, five years. Yes, coming uh -huh. back to what's happening. Mm -hmm. So now they're trying to get where you are before and where you are now. So, so they get them right. They're, they're trying to do some uh, some pre preempt some of this some stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly to try to make sure because I I would imagine that, I would imagine that is a key component of this though because you know football's a violent sport. And now, now what we know more about concussions now than we did before, right. that that plays a big role into this, this healthcare thing. Absolutely, and yeah. for a league that's trying to push this agenda about player safety and mm -hmm. health, but they're trying to push more games, so it's an extra regular season game and potentially an extra playoff game. Um, but they are making steps to make sure players are, you know, treated after they're done playing, as far as setting up a free healthcare facility in each mm -hmm. NFL city. So they are making steps. Oh, okay. But uh, you know, I don't know if that's worth you know that extra game, mm -hmm. and that danger that's out there. Well, we're talking with Butch Williams, <laughs> <laughs> Butch Williams and Cam Belton. Uh, we're talking about the NFL uh, CBA or NFL. Uh, I guess the CBA that's yeah. being voted on by the Players Association about the players. And I just saw something in that 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 piqued my interest last night when I was reading through some of the materials. They're talking about adding a vision plan for the NFL. So I, I just want to make sure I understand this. The NFL, as a protection for its didn't have a vision plan. Correct. Wow. And that's let that sit there. For I know that's minute. shocking. Let that, <laughs> let that just sit there for a minute. And and then and then we just had another piece where we were just talking about they're talking about five billion dollars, fifty billion dollars, or something like that, over ten years, and they didn't have a vision plan. You know what? That's something that wow. like. I think the guest you had on here prior that players are more woke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. You know, yeah. this isn't John just, this yeah. isn't just you know, their managers and agents going through wow. things. These players are sitting down and reading through things themselves and just from for former players voicing their concerns. Yeah. You know, this is their time to to speak up for what yeah. they they need and want. You got to get on your wife's vision plan. Before. I am. Well, hold there. 
<laughs> I hope they got a vision plan for the referees. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. They need one. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the one that they decided to get to take to. But, but they talked about a pension increase of 10%, yeah. uh, 401k matching distribution uh, increase of $30,000 annually. Um, annuity. So these these are also things that that they're voting on that I guess some of the older players is like, hey, look, we got to get this done. These, these kind of things matter. A younger guy, twenty one years old, out of you know, that played for the Florida Gators last year is like, I see fine. I don't need no vision plan. I mean, I, I need to get my money. That's what we. So it's just a difference between the two, the two types of individuals in the yeah. population that are voting. Yeah. yeah, right. And I think the the key thing that just kind of getting hung up on is the amount of money that's going towards the players. Mm-hmm. I know the benefits and everything uh, that's you know on the table as well, but. When you're looking about about the amount of money that's involved, yeah. um, I think that's what they're so they're that's a, on. that's a sticker part the, the mm-hmm. money. Right. That's interesting. Again, we're talking to Bruce Williams and, and Cam Belton, who has kind of given us an insight to the to the, the CBA. We're we're looking at the actual CBA right now. We everybody has a copy, but we're looking at it, and it's and I, and to KMS point, I see a lot of you know, a lot of language in here about you know, money, and and Cam mentioned money's problem. So as a guy. Alabama A and M University. I, 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 you know, I'm in the league one year minimum. I'm looking at this saying I want to vote for this. Absolutely. Because you know, right. I'm mm-hmm. gonna be here a couple more years, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna get my walk in. If you've been in the league, uh, you know, JJ, you got contracts, you got endorsement contracts. You're straight. Adam, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Rogers and all those guys. You, you're good. But for me, this is a better situation for me. So I, I would vote yes. Isn't that well, probably the situation? See, that's Butch. why yeah. they decided to go against each side, the young the young kids here and the, and and the old uh, ones there. Okay. That's what we're trying to get together. Right. For us, mm-hmm. but the other ones saying, hey, this is what we want to do, young kids. Yeah. This is what we want to do. Right. What they said, we don't talk to what they talk about. <laughs> this is what we want to do. If you get more like that, mm-hmm. we're in. Uh-huh. Uh, you got to get your money. Right, yeah. right, right. I, I, I just think it's going to be fascinating. So, Having an interesting conversation. Trust me, you've been hearing all about the CBA, the Collective Bargain Agreement. We got two gentlemen here just kind of give us the inside to the inside and all that. We got Bush Williams and Cam uh, Belcher up in here. Roland Willis, they just got back from in the Indy. You know, had to go to class, find out what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and they bring it back us back the information. K Mac had a great conversation with Cam. He was talking about you no know, after certain years. Cam, you want to just yeah. uh, interject that conversation again, if you will. So there's a rule in here it's called the creation of the new four year player benefit. So explain now. You explaining that essentially this is for kind of a journeyman, I guess, the guys that that are not really under contract, big contracts, and they're on this team. And after the fourth year, the the play the team has to pay them a specific amount, mm-hmm. extra one point two five million dollars, yeah. um, up to two players on the team. Uh, wow! But it won't count towards the salary cap. So if they wanted to and they like them, they can go ahead and pay them. Correct. But for most of the guys, what happens is you get that three year. It don't matter if you balled out. You were the Super Bowl MVP. Probably mm-hmm. they're probably gonna cut you. Cut you and sign for somebody lesser. Yep. Wow business man it's a tough business <laughs> that's a tough that, business that, that is tough. <laughs> that's a tough business but like you guys said you know but you, you said you uh-huh. said i said well now he's gonna go to another team he's gonna play for another three years yep right he's gonna get another so by the way during these three years what what would be the least the least amount that he could meet he would have to make uh, like, the one that we just gave you right it would be here. the minimum mm-hmm. you come all the way down mm-hmm. start from the beginning coming all the way down yeah and you see what's there mm-hmm. oh, that's like Four hundred thousand dollars is that right? Yeah. So for amount of credited seasons, amount of years that a player that's been in the league, there's yeah. a minimum, and it goes up kind of on a sliding scale um, as you yeah. progress through your career. We okay. call it paragraph five salary. Okay. Wow. So five six hundred thousand dollars he would mm-hmm. be making every year while he's on this. You know. Yeah. His, I mean, you can, you can make ends meet with that. Don't no, don't okay. I, I'm, I'm, I, think, <laughs> I think you're doing all right. But at the end of that. <laughs> Three years, but see, it this, get cut again. But this is the problem. <laughs> What's the problem? You got that six hundred. How about the other guy on the other side? Got <laughs> Twelve million, <laughs> right? Know, and you going the same? Are you going the same he thing? Practices, working, doing everything like that. Yeah. 
but I got a little bit. You yeah. got a lot. Yeah. That's where the problem is. That's the problem. From. Another problem that may be solved in, in the past, uh, we, know, we know that uh, there's been some issues with uh, illegal drugs in the China, but now a lot, of, a lot of the states has passed uh, uh, marijuana. is, is mm-hmm. It's legal in a lot of states. So I think that's impacted to a certain degree the uh, CBA as well. Right. In terms of marijuana, they, they're lessening some of the, uh, the punishment. Well, associated see, with that, right? Part of, you know, you got to remember, 17 yeah. is what they want. 17 games, yeah. So you got to have some people on this side <laughs> saying yes, and this, that right there. Yeah, but right. part of the situation mm-hmm. is at any time you get some marijuana, yes. you got a problem. Yeah. yeah. And if they get you, you got a problem. Right. Well, now it's, they knocked it all the way down. So you, you, it's not as severe as it used to be in punishment. Right. You're not, you're not, you can't miss a game for smoking weed. Um, okay, and they reduce the the fines. There's some people out of the league right now because they smoke weed. In the yeah, past. I Think know. About that. Believe you know, me, it, I know. <laughs> <laughs> they just leave, I know. I but got so some I guys just like that. <laughs> yeah, it's going from a four month window to a two week window of being tested for THC and the amount that's found in your system. The tolerance is, is so. Higher. But the, okay, that's interesting. So it's still mm-hmm. that big gap of four months. They only know that it's a two week time frame where they're going to be tested. After that, they're good. Nope. They're good. And even if they if they come up, they're uh, uh, positive in those two weeks. They, they can't miss a game. Right. Correct. Um, okay. They will be probably enrolled in the substance abuse uh, uh, yes. policy yeah, okay. program. Okay. Um, they may have to do things throughout the season as far as more tests, yeah. which will resort in more fines, but they won't miss a game. Wow, that's wow. unbelievable. Stuff. It is all types of stuff in this year. <laughs> correct. Postseason play. Uh-huh. You guys are like this one. Uh-huh. Starting in twenty twenty one, the proposal is uh, amounts to increase. For a wild card, you get forty two k. That's you know, so that's just every player, no matter who you are. Yeah, right. Right. normally that's what and, they normally and, what they normally like. Uh, the first one you come in, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. What's the one they do? Wild card. Wild card. Right. Wild card. right. right. Basically, one, a wild card loses thirty seven. If you lose that, it used yeah. to be twenty five back Got then. It. Yeah, okay. yeah. And that's where the, the guys get money. You know, mm-hmm. and, you know, if you go Super Bowl. You get money. It comes back down. I forget what it is. Yeah. What do now, but it used yeah. to be close to about eighty five thousand. Yeah. Okay. yeah, the losers yeah. now get seventy five. The winner it says um, one fifty. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Well, that's a that's, piece. Yeah. 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 Each Every one. Person. Each one. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> they get it. You know. So for and for, they get this right there. <laughs> <laughs> the ring. Yeah. 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 So for a rookie or a minimum salary player, that's going to be a lot of money. But like we we're talking about, Jeremy Garoppolo. Yeah. It's a million dollars a game. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, but. Wow. You know, it's not. It's going to be, change, that, there's a lot of variances associated with the CBA. But let me ask you guys a question. What do you think is going to happen? I mean, you think the players collective is going to say yes or they're going to say no? Mm. That's a good situation. Mm-hmm. Um, I think when all is said and done, money's going to get involved. Mm-hmm. And, you know, uh, I know they did it, uh, the NFL, PA, and the N, uh, NBA. NFL. They, uh, okay. Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday they got together. Mm-hmm. We're right before we we're coming. Yeah, and they trying to figure out what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do. Uh, and that's why they gave this this one right here. Mm-hmm. But I think uh, when all is said and done, it's gonna be a little bit over here, a little bit over there, <laughs> and they're gonna get in there, and gonna have that money in there, and everything. Will be so, so, what it so was. there's gonna be a lot of give and take, you think? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I th- I thought initially they was thinking this thing was gonna be a slam dunk. Mm-hmm. No. That never happens, huh? Never. I think that, <laughs> never. It might be because that was put out there by the NFL owners that we'll have a deal done soon. Yeah. So now the PR and the pressures on the players to, from the outside looking in, we're looking like, oh, you're getting a hundred extra thousand dollars. Like, why wouldn't you sign that? Right. And so mm. uh, that's kind of a PR. Yeah. They got know, money, man. They, they can pull whatever they want to do. Yeah, but if I'm a one or two year player and I, I I'm not up in that upper echelon, I'd be voting yes for real. So I'm just saying. You got, so there's <laughs> other ones in here. Of course, there's, I mean, everything is covered in the CBA. So a maximum of 12 hours at the facility per day. Right. Yep. Yep. Hmm. So, that, put, so that includes treatment? Well, they think there's a provision in there as far as if somebody needs required, you know, physical therapy. Mm, yeah. and stuff, that doesn't count towards it or think they get an extra hour or okay. something like that. <laughs> <laughs> other than that, 12 hours, that's it. Right. And I think that's, Something looking out for the players, like if a, a coach whose livelihood depends on winning games, yes, he's he gonna make like, you. I want you at yeah, work that's all right, day, every right, day. Right, 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 right. And so a lot of I'm things, paying you twelve million dollars a year. Most people, you know, a game a million dollars a game. Most people they probably want you there 
at least 18 hours. Correct. Wow. Oh, no, he said, can't do it no more. Can't do it. <laughs> 12 hour uh, days, that's it. Being able to work, uh, you know, uh, one, two, three. I think that's what they're doing. Uh, uh, three days off? Yeah. 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 So there's provisions yeah. in there as far as a certain amount of days off uh, during training camp if there's a 16 game season or if there's a 17 game season. Um, and yeah, six days off. Correct. Six days off with sixteen games, eight dog, eight days with. Seven also, the amount of uh, practices they, uh, they they have to have with pads on tonight, yeah, right? That's three. in there. That's the three, three days. Okay, three. Yeah, okay. Talking about. Yeah, padded practice, and I think the NFLPA is going to have more uh, video stream access to these practices during training camps, just to make sure everything. Oh, is so checking up on people, make sure people not trying to do some under the table stuff. Big brother, Ooh, wow, really interesting. I it, do like the Thursday game provision too, but it says it says three days. Off after the Thursday game, but one of our problem we talked about was going into the Thursday game would be like if you play Sunday, and you got to play Thursday. Thursday, yeah, that quick turnaround. Quick. Yeah, but now it says you know max max you, you mandatory. You got to have three days off after That's the right. Thursday game. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, it would be a little bit of this, and yeah. like I said, yeah. a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yeah, they they get, they make it tough. They, well, they make it tough for you. Oh man. I, I can imagine these guys. Man, we really appreciate you guys. So again, if you're, you're if you're an aspiring athlete and you're trying to get up in the league, <laughs> you need to want to call these guys here. Because actually, though, but you um you need some help. I, I've been I've been following you guys on social media. You guys signed some guys uh, some guys recently. I think you got twelve now. I oh, got twelve. Okay, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <coughs> we'll be all right. It's after for him, it ain't for me. Yeah. After <laughs> him. Getting him, we get him. him. Yeah. Well, after my signing day with you guys on uh, Thursday, it'll be thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all side came back. Yeah, they signed. They signed. A good question though. How, does it, how do you guys get involved? Have you guys gotten involved with the, with the XFL at all? Have you guys thought about that at all? Ooh. I I didn't do much. You didn't do much with that. Much. Yeah. You know what they got? What they got? Twenty two. No, twenty five thousand. I think the average salary is fifty five thousand yeah. outside of quarterbacks. Really? Um, that ain't a yeah. lot. Well, they're doing it for the visibility, let's right. be honest. I mean, the love of the it. game, too. they doing it well. Well, some guys, yeah, for the love of the game, because yeah, they, yeah. they ain't going to, it, to the NFL. It's going to be hard to tell a wife you're doing it for the love of the game. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> when a, a bill start rolling around. She start looking See, at you crazy. I, but I go, uh, what I, right now, what I look mm -hmm. at, that head. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody run down there, and boom, boom, get his head messed the up. The impact, impact on the concussions or whatever, right? What happens with that? Yeah. 22,000? <laughs> I mean... I ain't got to say it like that, Bush. I ain't got to say it like that, Bush. If you're going you to get popped in the head, you better. Remember, remember, I'm old now. They like I used to be. I'm old. That, 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 that's not right, you know. What's that? What's that? If you're going to get popped in the head, you better be worth it. Well, look, that's, that's, look, I'm one of those grandma conversations yeah, right there. Boy. Like, now you, now, you, now you doing this for how much? <laughs> Well, I know damn well you ain't getting your head bashed in out there for $20,000. Because you, you, you love the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> but th th there are some people out there that I think may have a shot to play play in in, right. in, in, in the NFL that uh, we probably wouldn't have a chance to see. So showcasing the talents probably yeah. is a good deal for them, man. But I wouldn't see. I'm, I'm, I may be with Butch on that. I wouldn't suggest doing it long term. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. would be a year after year after year thing. I don't no. think you should do that for twenty thousand dollars a year. But whether it's sports or, or even uh, anything, trust me, and on the legal front, how can people reach out to you guys, man? Uh, at JDW Law, nine one nine three eight two eight one one five. So that number been the same forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, for, watch this. Fortunate or unfortunate, fortunate. I know that number by heart. Look, we all know that number. <laughs> Matter of fact, I got a, I got it taped to the back of my, my driver's license. <laughs> look, oh, y'all crazy. <laughs> look, look, crazy. Boy, he said, well, what's that for? <laughs> look, if you got to ask for this, call it. <laughs> if you asking me for this, you call, call that. that. That's, That's what a commercial. I, I like that. That is what it is. Hey, man, I appreciate you. That's pretty good, go. man. Why do people need you, though? Seriously. Yeah. Why people need you guys. I mean, you, you're an athlete. Why you need? Why I need you guys? Seriously, uh, because you're you're negotiating with you know business businessmen that make millions of dollars, billions of dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and just navigating this process, we were dealing with you know sometimes 21 year olds, young young right. young men who are entering a world that. They never been in before. But his uncle know a lot though. His uncle used to play ball back in the day. But see, that's the problem. Who who had, who uncle messed with? Was it Vince Young? Uncle got them all jammed up. Well, he stole yeah. the money. Hey, yeah, you, you can't you, stole you the can't money. be messing with relatives. Your relatives will money. mess you up. Ain't nothing like calling your Bush uncle. Can tell, he, he can tell some stories, man. And man. other people <laughs> yeah. take your money. Yeah, yeah. 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 You get in there, especially yeah. young guys yeah. come in. Yeah, got good money. 
Yeah. Somebody step in. Oh yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm yeah. with you. You know, and they take your money. Yeah. Man. So that's where I get involved. <laughs> you know, right when it comes, you know, right when it comes in. I've had a lot of guys yeah. just like that had good money. Mm -hmm. I don't send it to people. Oh yeah, I'm a no, 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 no. <laughs> I know where we need to go. You know. And I, I, I tell you, Cam, you know, you you, you learn it from a legend. Every you know day, right? you know that. I mean, I'm talking about everything we talked about. He's been there, done that. First rounders across the board, football, basketball. This guy's done it. So you, you learn it from a legend. Yes, sir. Good job, guys. <laughs> Good, Good job, job, man. Good job. Appreciate it. Pepsi was born in the Carolinas, and since their founding over a century ago, they've had a strong presence in the community and the culture of the Carolinas. With Pepsi Cares, they want to further their outreach and impact on the Carolinas by partnering with local organizations to make its birthplace a better place to live, work, and play for generations. Check out Pepsi Cares on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, or go directly to their website, pepsicares.com, to see how you can get involved. Right here, Reese says. Great say, man. Compensatory draft. Yeah. The system you, has been revised to include you, K, K Mac. K Mac. And, uh, and, and, and maybe slash, DR Reese. Slash core if he, veteran. If he can get off. That's, that's my name. I'm a oh, core veteran. You're they, core veteran. They actually got me defined. I'm, I'm defined as a core veteran. You're a core veteran. I'm, you know what no, I mean? No, they, they're not talking about. Not uh, that kind of core? Not in the Army. Oh, no. They, they're talking about guys that's actually. In the NFL? In the NFL, yeah. But this says for calculating purposes, if a player was signed for a one year deal making less than $1.7 million. That's me. Yeah, I mean, I'm making less, less than one point seven. <laughs> I, I, I think we got that. One. I think collectively we are making less than one point seven. <laughs> on the other side, call, call me, man. Just call. Just call, call me. I get you right. I get but you, you, right. you get to that one point seven. <laughs> <laughs>